I'm Talkless with RF Elements, and in today's episode of Inside Wireless, we'll talk about link budget. When designing any kind of wireless link, a good place to start is with a link budget equation. It gives you a fairly accurate estimate of the link performance based on the hardware you want to use. Before we go into that topic, if you enjoy our videos, like, comment, or consider subscribing to our channel. This is a link budget equation. It essentially calculates the strength of a signal on the receiver side considering three main components. The power a transmitting radio can deliver, the gain of both antennas, and any loss that occurs during the transfer. To figure out whether a wireless link will deliver the data throughput we're looking for, you need to know the power of the signal the receiver side will see, PRX. Starting at the transmitter side, the radio uses some output power, PTX. It feeds that signal into an antenna it's connected to with a specific gain, GTX. The antenna radiates signal into space. As the wave travels through space, it loses strength. This loss of power is called path loss, and it grows with distance and frequency. If you want to know more about path loss, click the link in the corner or in the video description. Besides path loss, there are many other components that can add to power loss cable and connector loss and reflections, atmospheric loss due to changing weather conditions, obstructions such as trees and buildings, and multipath reflections from all kinds of services, and polarization mismatching occurring when antennas are not perfectly aligned and so on. On the receiver side, the antenna has a given gain, G, R, X. Combining all these together gives us what we're looking for, P, R, X, the power at the receiving side. These loss components can often be hard to pinpoint which is why the link budget calculations are often approximate for typical WISP scenarios. Once you have the estimate of the received power and you know the noise floor of the receiving radio, you can estimate the expected MCS rate by checking the data sheet of the radio you use. All this can be done on paper, but most of the radio and antenna manufacturers in the WISP industry have an online tool which does the calculation for you. All you need to do is set up the parameters of your link to get a result. Did you enjoy this video? If yes, consider subscribing to our channel. We'll notify you whenever we release a new one. 